<clears throat> Hi, everybody. We are back for Science Sunday, and I have a very special guest. It is Dr. Sharon Jones with Dottie Rose Foundation. Thanks thank, for being with us, Dr. Thank you Jones. so much for being, having me. I'm really excited to be here with you. You know, we, we enjoy a good science experiment. Yes, we definitely yes. do. So yes. Dr. Jones and I, we do a lot of school talks and things like that together. And so we were chatting about doing a Science Sunday together, yes. um, talking about STEM and kind of going a little bit further. So we decided to make hot chocolate, and it was your idea. What was kind of the reason behind us doing this? So January 31st is actually National Hot Chocolate Day. And we uh, like to think about things that are fun and exciting for the kids to have a connection with. And most every child loves a cup of hot chocolate because it really does fill you up and make you feel warm inside. And so what we thought would be really cool is to show a, an experiment where you think about, well, how do you make hot chocolate? What is the science behind that? What's the math and what's the technology piece? And of course there's engineering, but we can dig into that another another concept about how we make the actual cocoa powder but so what we have here today is we've got a cup of hot water almost boiling and boiling you know is 212 degrees and then we've got a cup at room temperature and the experiment is which one do we think it's gone, going to dissolve faster in so part of the scientific process as Brittany has told you all over and over again is you first want to make a hypothesis hi, oh I'm making my words out hypothesis hypothesis yes <laughs> and what do you think is it gonna dissolve faster in the hot water or in the cold water. Do you want me to make my head up? I think you should. Um, I think it's going to dissolve in the hot water faster because if you remember back in December when we did our candy cane experiment, we were trying to figure out if the candy cane was going to melt in hot water or cold water faster. The molecules were moving a lot faster in the hot water, so the color of the candy cane dissolved a lot quicker because the molecules are moving faster. Right, and I think you're probably right, but let's give it a try. You okay, try? sounds okay, good, because so. well, we want to actually drink it. Now, yeah. You could do this in a mug. It probably yeah. would be more fun, so you can Absolutely. drink it. But we did it in the clear glass so everybody could see it. So you're going to need hot chocolate mix, of course, um. a spoon to stir, a digital thermometer if you actually want to take, you know, maybe the temperature down and write it and do the actual scientific process with the kids. Right. And, of course, a mug for your cold versus your hot. Right, so we've got a packet of hot chocolate and we're each gonna take a spoonful. So a spoonful is about a tablespoon. So if we're looking at the math part of this, uh, about a tablespoon of hot chocolate we're gonna put into our mugs. Now clearly if you're making this at home, you could put more, but for the experiment part, and now we're gonna start stirring. And if we look, Oh my goodness, mine was, I feel like my water was so hot that it almost made a bubble as soon as I put it in there. And look how quickly it's dissolving. I it's, haven't even stirred it yet. I mean, that's crazy. You can see Ooh. the bubbles happening. Ooh. And Ooh. on mine, in your regular water, yeah, we're not, we're not dissolving quite as fast, right? There needs to be that. I mean, look at my marshmallows. They're like <laughs> spinning on their own. <laughs> oh my goodness. We measured it and it was like over 100 degrees, so. So what would be also interesting to do as an add-on to this is we're using water, but you also may like to try milk or a half and half or a different type of liquid. And you could see different types of the thickness of that liquid and what that does to dissolve your particular hot chocolate. And this is Swiss Miss, uh, so you could also try different types of hot chocolate. Yeah, that would be good. And yeah. you kind of see what the different ingredients and how those change Absolutely. and how that can impact Absolutely. it. And you know, some people like to put a whole packet of hot chocolate and then some don't. So there, those are what we call variables. And when we're thinking about how this is a STEM related activity, variables are something we use across the board in math and computer science, mm -hmm. in science. In this particular situation, we've got about a half a cup of uh, room temperature water and a half a cup of hot water. Now, those are two separate variables because we're trying to test which one works. We use those same concepts when we're thinking about getting on a computer and figuring out your password or your login. Your password is different than mine and that changes. There's also something we call conditional statements, if then, and we just did that. If the hot water, or if the water is hot, then, X, Y, or Z happens. Mm -hmm. And so those are just some of the fun things that you can incorporate with your kids. And also keep in mind the math piece, following the algorithm to figure out what the exact ingredients are to make it work. Yes, and we also use variables in weather. When we look at different kind of weather models and things like that, we measure different variables, and that's when we get things like ensembles, when we forecast for snow, and things like hurricanes. So we use variables all the time. Thank you, Dr. Jones, for being Thank with you. us. We probably will see her on Science Sunday a little bit yes, more so with true. some more STEM stories, too, coming up, especially in the month of February uh, with National Engineering Week coming up. So that is stay correct. tuned for that. And, of course, stay tuned for your full weather forecast. After a lot of rain yesterday, do we have more coming up in the forecast this upcoming week? After some of you saw flooding, We'll see you right after the break.